guys, this is Evan from the Black and Blue. Uh, if you're watching this, I hope you watched my last video where I kind of go over the kit that I have for media management. If not, uh, look for it on my YouTube page and watch that. It's kind of a precursor to what I'm going to show you here. I just thought it'd be a little bit useful for me to show you on the computer screen itself sort of what I meant about the file structure of the folders and everything. And also um, let you see firsthand the process I go through to check footage. So the first thing I need to do is I accidentally copy and pasted uh, the card into ACAM without the A001 folder. But let me show you how I intentionally set up hard drives usually. The first thing is I always open Disk Utility when I get a new hard drive and I reformat it and name it something about the production. So in this case it's uh, for something related to Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I did MLK1 and then it, I have these colors because that's the tape that I put on the drive so it's a little visual signal. So on the drive itself I have Day 1 Within day one, I have A camera, B camera, sound. I've already dumped sound, and since it's just going to be one dump for the day, I didn't make any folders within it. But within A camera and B camera, I have these A001 and B001 folders, and that's where I'm actually going to dump the memory card, where I already have for this one. So if you look here in A001, I have all of the clips that they shot, and it looks like a bunch of images too. So, now I have to m copy that over here, so I'm going to make a new folder and just sort of move this in here. And this is essential because every card is going to have the DCIM MISC uh, folder structure, so if you don't label them right the first time, it's very hard to uh, sort out later on. So now the next thing I'm going to do is check them. And the way I do that is I'm going to click, this is the card right here, EOS Digital, I'm going to hit Apple I. And it's going to tell me right here, used, 31.4 gigabytes. So now I'm going to do that on here, and I'm going to do that here. And I can see them all three side by side. And I see that both A001 have 31.4 gigabytes, which is good. So that means that in terms of ones and zeros, it checks out. The next thing that I do is I go on the card itself, and I look, and I can see down at the bottom of Finder, that there are 330 items inside this uh, card. So then I check that it's like that on each drive. 330 items, 330 items. Now there's a bunch of images on here that I'm not really going to check because images aren't too essential. Uh, mostly what they're paying me for is to check footage. So I'm going to go to the first QuickTime movie and I can either open it or you can hit spacebar, but I find that the finder preview sometimes is a little buggy. But if you hit spacebar, this is what pops up. Um, is it really? But with uh, huge files, it can get a little buggy. So anyway, I'm going to play it. I'm going to watch the first couple seconds. I'm going to scrub through it, make sure it plays at the end here, and then we're good. And then I would do that with a folder in the middle here and a folder and um, a file at the end, I mean. I do that also on this drive, but normally when I do it, I try and pick different files each time. And then, um, so once you've scrubbed through the footage and checked it, I mean, it, it, you should be good to go if you want to check every single file you can, but sometimes on cards like this where there's over 300, it's just not practical. So you check as many as you can, or as many as you deem necessary to determine that the card is good. But I usually think that about five spot checks plus the checksum spot checks where you see how much data is taken up plus seeing that there's the n correct number of uh, files in Finder I think that's usually more than enough and then what, I, what I'll do is I'll eject the card I'll wrap it in green tape and I'll give it to whoever is dealing with the cards and I'll tell them it's okay to format but I almost always never eject the card until I'm sure that the drives are done Alright, so I hope that you guys found that a little bit useful and you kind of got more of a sense of what I was talking about in the last video uh, by actually seeing it on the computer screen. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any ideas or if you think that the way I do this is completely wrong and you would never hire me to do it. Alright, thanks guys.